Central Retro versus Hype Central Beer. Here we go. Roy and, Roy and Yoshi. Signature character, signature mains for these two guys. Ooh, that dash grab. So, Retro has a bit, has a, definitely a powerful um, rush down and a mix up, a, quick, a bit of mix up style uh, as a player. And that kind of fits Roy, you know. Roy probably, uh, you know, with with the uh, with the hilt sweet spot that he has, he probably wants to get in as close as he wants to his opponent, you know. So rush down is a good option. That was a good forward smash. But um, Yoshi with his ridiculous uh, movement options and speed and coverage, you know, the egg as coverage, uh, highest air speed, uh, ridiculous frame data, you know, he's definitely not going to be easy to attend with. They're playing a very tight, uh, a very tight, uh, tight neutral right now. We're very always close together, as opposed to uh, whoa, catching the tech roll with the forward smash. You know that looked that looked like Roy was in a bad position because he had the high percent, but you know he's out, he's on a he's on a rage roll now, rage roll. Good up smash, and that was suddenly even the game again. Whoa. Good roll, good read off the roll. I think, he's, you know what? These players probably ha know each other well enough to have you know reads on each other. So it's proved to be a bit of a, a more interesting match than normal. You know, experienced players who uh, have faced each other before are always a little more interesting to watch, um, since they're more they're not trying to figure out each other as much as they are. You know, working around information that they already know, that, that the viewer might, myself might not know. And the counter, while a good idea, did not land on stage and fell a bit too low. And the game one is to Yoshi. Banning Dreamland, so, hmm. I'll, I'll wait to see what these what these guys choose before they go, and it looks like it's gonna be still Roy versus Yoshi, but on Town and City. I think this 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 makes sense uh, coming from the Roy's perspective, with the overall lower blast zones, you know, and his ridiculous kill power. Uh, he he's definitely he can get early kills, but he can also get uh, you know his his standard uh, bread and butter combos are, are gonna kill better, you know. Uh, forward tilts near the uh, ledge, you know, can kill at the forward smash. Man, he's good. He's catching these. Uh, kind of running away with his first stock so far here for Retro. Uh, definitely a change from the last game. Risky counter. Down, down, down their pressure. Not really rewarding for anything else, but you know, it's safe, so it can't really complain. Good tech. Beer doing a very good job covering his landings. You know, Beer reverse uh, neutral bees. What is it? Lick, swallow, whatever. Egg lay. Tight. Still very tight neutral. Looking for the catching. What? Is it a, a double KO again? This is the second one we found here <laughs> this week. And oh my god. And it was Beer's as well. It was like Beer and um, Saz who <laughs> got a double KO. And now we have a double KO again. What I'm starting to notice a little bit more is, uh, you know, they're playing neutral, like they're both, uh, you know, melee characters, but they're, uh, they're, ne they're neutral is close, but, you know, not too close. They're very, like, very close proximity, but they're not trying to, you know, not even within shielding distance. Excellent spacing uh, from these guys, really. This is game two. Yeah, game one went to uh, beer. Ooh. Good tech. Building the damage, building the rage. Um, 
oh yeah, that happens a lot. A lot with uh, meetings to the ground especially. You know, if Yoshi doesn't close out the stock soon, I think we might see a... Uh... There you go! Roy had 150% worth of rage. It's getting risky and manages to close out the stock. A neutral air across the stage.